I feel that what is most unique about our school is that we were under the same leadership and outstanding leadership for 28 years. Uh, I think that Mr. Wright was the key behind most of our success. Uh, he was an outstanding leader. I still feel though that we will still be successful now that he's gone simply because of the leadership qualities that he instilled in each of us and because of his beliefs in education and his values in education and life in general. Well, one thing Mr. Wright always told us was we want to be the best and I think that's instilled within us is that, you know, and we never thought of being anything but the best. That's what we always wanted to be and that's what we strive to be every day. The high expectations are still there. Um, every teacher has high expectations. Um, they know that they're expected to reach a certain uh, goal in their data. Um, and with doing that, we look at the whole, the whole picture. Southside is a family. Uh, you're you're going to hear that as a recurring theme. We understand what it takes to be a good person and we all strive to be good people and to be warm and welcoming. And so I think those are the things that make us a family is that, that we are good people and we want to share that with other people. We have a very community-based school here. Uh, actually, several of my students that I teach, I've also taught their parents, <laughs> so I think that lends to our community atmosphere here and our family atmosphere. The school doesn't only focus on just the child here at school, but when you see them out at the grocery store, you see them out somewhere else, they recognize them. Um, he's involved in a lot of activities outside of school, and all of his teachers encourage and want to know how well he's doing, not only just in school, but on his other things as well. Everything we do is data-driven. Data-driven instruction drives our curriculum. We use standards-based curriculum, data-driven instruction. And so our data tells us where we need to go. Um, if we need to do, like I said, remediation, or if we need to enrich that child. When we have our ThinkLink test and our TCAP test, um, actually we start with our ThinkLink test. We have what is called a data board. And they know if they are proficient or if they're basic or below basic or advanced. And we uh, encourage them to strive to be advanced, of course. Our motto here is Go Blue. <laughs> the, the ultimate goal is to make sure that our kids are college and career ready. And like I said, we're at the elementary, so we get them ready for high school. But they need to be ready to hit the ground running when they get to high school so they can get them on to college. We have a vast amount of technology. Every teacher has a smart board. Every teacher, uh, every classroom has a set of clickers. We have several computers and iPads. And we are able to use this technology in our instruction in the classroom. We're able to use it as individualized instruction. You can use it for intervention or enrichment. So I think this is a very important part of our success as well. When, the, when someone really wants you to do something, they will tell you they ain't gonna take no as an answer. But our teachers, they don't take I don't know as an answer. I would say I want to continue to be as good as Mr. Wright, but as we all know, if you stay where you are, then people pass you. So I hope to grab the ball and actually run with it and make us become even a better school than what we are right now.